Remember the last time you squeezed honey onto your pancakes? Did you ever wonder how that golden goodness got from the bee to your breakfast table? Well, you're about to find out. In this video, we're taking you on a behind-the-scenes tour of a honey factory. You'll see every step of the process, from harvesting to bottling. By the end, you'll have a whole new appreciation for that sticky miracle in your pantry. Ready to get your hands sticky with knowledge? Picture that jar of honey sitting on your kitchen shelf. Have you ever wondered about its journey? Where did it come from? How did it transform from nectar in a flower to that golden syrup in your cupboard? Let's trace its origins back to the source and uncover the hidden world of honey production. You might think honey simply goes from beehive to bottle, but there's so much more to it. The process involves both the natural realm of buzzing bees and honeycombs and the high-tech world of modern factories. Bees create their honeycomb structures and fill them with sweet nectar, a process unchanged for millions of years. Meanwhile, factories use state-of-the-art machines and computerized systems to process thousands of pounds of honey daily. But here's the thing. The journey doesn't start at the factory gates. The first step in honey production happens long before that, and it might surprise you. It's all about choosing where to place the beehives. Beekeepers carefully select spots with abundant flowers, ensuring their bees have access to plenty of nectar. This crucial decision determines the flavor, color, and quality of the honey you'll eventually spread on your toast. Different flowers produce different types of honey, from light, delicate clover honey to dark, robust buckwheat honey. The variety is incredible, and it all starts with that strategic choice of location. Now that we've uncovered this surprising first step, it's time to meet the unsung heroes behind your honey jar. These dedicated individuals work tirelessly to make sure bees thrive and honey flows. Get ready to discover the world of beekeepers, the true stars of honey production. Beekeepers face some unique challenges in their line of work. Did you know that a beekeeper can get stung up to 100 times in a single season? Despite this, these brave folks keep coming back to care for the bees that play a crucial role in our ecosystem. So, how do beekeepers approach a colony of thousands of bees safely? It's all about the right gear and smart techniques. They wear a special suit that covers their entire body, along with gloves, a helmet, and a veil. This protective gear keeps those stingers at bay and allows beekeepers to work confidently. But there's more to it than just fancy suits. Beekeepers have a secret weapon, smoke. They use it to calm the bees by masking the alarm pheromones bees release when they feel threatened. With a few puffs of smoke, the bees become much more relaxed and less likely to attack. When it comes to accessing those precious honeycombs, beekeepers use special tools. They have hive tools to carefully pry apart the frames inside the hive and gentle bee brushes to softly move the bees away from the honeycombs. It's a delicate process that requires patience and respect for these tiny creatures. Harvesting honey is like a well-choreographed dance. Beekeepers combine all these techniques, protective gear, smoke, and careful movements to collect the honey without disturbing the bees too much. It's truly impressive to watch them work in harmony with thousands of buzzing insects. Next time you enjoy some honey, remember the hard work that went into bringing it to you. But the honey's journey isn't over yet. Let's follow those honeycombs as they make their way from the hive to the factory. You won't believe what happens next in the honey-making process. We've watched beekeepers brave stings to harvest honey, but there's more to the story. The real magic happens in a place that looks more like a scientific laboratory. Let's explore the high-tech world of honey processing that transforms raw honeycombs into the golden nectar you love. After collection, beekeepers pack the honeycombs into special boxes designed to keep them safe during transit. These boxes protect the delicate combs from damage that could affect the honey's flavor and texture. At the factory, workers unload the boxes in a receiving area where they quickly check the honeycomb's condition. Then, it's time for large-scale honey extraction. 
The factory floor is filled with impressive machinery that processes thousands of pounds of honey every day. The star of the show is a specialized spinning machine that uses centrifugal force to extract honey from the combs. As it whirls around, the honey is flung out and collected in special containers. The extracted honey then passes through sieves to remove any bits of wax or tiny particles, ensuring its purity. So, the next time you're enjoying honey, think about its amazing journey. From the brave beekeepers who harvested it to the impressive machines that extracted it, every drop has quite a story. And we're just getting started. Up next, we'll dive into the heart of honey factory operations and discover what else goes into making your honey perfect every time. Welcome to the heart of the honey factory, where nature's liquid gold gets the royal treatment. As you step onto the factory floor, you're greeted by the sweet aroma of honey. Gleaming stainless steel tanks tower overhead, filled with thousands of pounds of honey. But how do they handle all that sticky honey without turning the whole place into one giant mess? The answer lies in some seriously sweet technology. These factories are designed to keep honey flowing smoothly from start to finish. After extraction, the honey goes through a crucial process. It's passed through special sieves built right into the machinery, where lids are placed on designed to handle honey on a massive scale while treating it with care. It's a delicate balance of industrial efficiency and respect for nature's sweet creation. But the journey isn't over yet. Up next, we'll explore how they make sure every jar of honey is absolutely perfect. You might think honey's journey ends once it's in the jar, but there's a whole world of quality control behind the scenes. Honey factories run a series of tests on each batch before it leaves the facility. It's like being a taste tester, scientist, and detective all at once. Quality control is crucial in honey production. Factories have to ensure every jar is perfect while dealing with thousands of jars daily. One of the biggest challenges is maintaining honey's natural goodness during large-scale production. Honey is full of beneficial enzymes and antioxidants, and factories work hard to preserve these during processing. What kind of tests do they run? There's the moisture test to check water content and the sugar test to ensure purity. They also check for contaminants using high-tech equipment like spectrometers, which analyze light patterns, and chromatographs, which separate and identify compounds. These machines can detect even tiny traces of unwanted substances. Factories also deal with crystallization. That's when honey gets grainy and thick. They store honey in big containers at specific temperatures to keep it smooth and flowing. Cool, right? The technology used in honey quality control is pretty impressive. Built-in sieves filter the honey as it's processed, catching any tiny bits that shouldn't be there. It's like having a super fine strainer working nonstop. From the moment honey enters the factory to when it's sealed in jars, it's constantly monitored and tested. Next time you pick up a jar of honey, think about all the care that went into making sure it's perfect. But did you know Honey doesn't just come in jars. Get ready to discover some unique honey products you might not know about. How about honey in a stick or honey powder? The sweet surprises are just beginning. Honey innovation has taken the market by storm with exciting new products. Gone are the days when honey only came in jars. Now, you can find it in convenient forms like honey sticks, creamed honey, and even honey powder. Let's explore how factories create these unique treats while preserving honey's natural goodness. Honey sticks are perfect for on-the-go snacking or adding sweetness to your tea. Factories carefully select the best honey for flavor, then use specialized machines to mold it into those handy stick shapes. The tricky part? Sealing each stick tightly with special film or foil to prevent sticky messes. Ever struggled with runny honey on your toast? Creamed honey solves that problem. It's smooth, spreadable, and delicious. Factories control the crystallization process precisely to achieve that perfect creamy texture. 
getting it just right without compromising flavor is one of the most challenging aspects of honey production. Different honey varieties create a world of unique products. Light, delicate clover honey might become a honey stick for tea, while dark, robust buckwheat honey could transform into a gourmet creamed honey spread. Each product offers a distinct honey flavor adventure. Honey powder is another innovative product gaining popularity. It's made by drying liquid honey and grinding it into a fine powder. This versatile form of honey is perfect for baking, seasoning, or even as a unique cocktail ingredient. The honey industry's creativity doesn't stop at new products. They're also finding clever ways to use every part of the honeycomb. Want to know how they're turning leftover bits from honey production into sustainable treasures? Let's dive into the sticky business of honey sustainability. The honey industry is doing more than just sweetening our lives. It's helping save the planet. There's a surprising connection between that jar of honey in your kitchen and the health of our ecosystem. Let's explore how sustainability and sweetness go hand in hand. Honey factories are eco-warriors in disguise, making sure nothing goes to waste. Take beeswax, for example. After extracting honey, there's plenty of this stuff left over. Instead of tossing it, factories use it to make all sorts of useful things, like candles, cosmetics, and even food wraps. It's sustainability in action. But the eco-friendliness doesn't stop there. Honey production plays a huge role in supporting bee populations. Beekeepers care about more than just honey. They're all about keeping their buzzy little workers healthy and happy. Their practices help bees thrive and boost the surrounding ecosystem. It's a win-win for bees and the environment. Honey factories have some clever tricks for balancing efficiency with being green. Some use leftover beeswax to make eco-friendly alternatives to plastic wrap. Imagine wrapping your sandwich in something that's helping save the planet. The relationship between honey production and bee conservation is crucial. Sustainable beekeeping practices don't just give us delicious honey. They also help keep our pollinator pals healthy. And healthy bees mean a healthier planet for all of us. After honey extraction, beeswax gets filtered and processed for various uses. It's like the honey industry is running its own little recycling plant, turning every bit of bee-made material into something useful. So next time you enjoy some honey, remember you're part of a bigger picture. The honey industry is working hard to keep our planet as sweet as the honey in your jar. Who knew sustainability could taste so good? Now that we've uncovered the eco-friendly side of honey production, let's look at the incredible journey honey takes from flower to table. Get ready to see your favorite sweet treat in a whole new light. We've explored the journey of honey from bustling beehives to modern factories. It's fascinating how bees and humans work together to create that golden sweetness in your pantry. Those tiny bees gather nectar from countless flowers, and beekeepers carefully harvest the honey. Then, factories step in with high-tech machines to extract, filter, and package it. It's a perfect blend of nature's wonder and human innovation. Next time you enjoy some honey, take a moment to appreciate the incredible process behind it. That little jar represents the hard work of bees, beekeepers, and factory workers. It's a delicious reminder of the hidden marvels in our everyday foods. Who knew honey could teach us so much about the world around us?